When talking about motion, there are two quantities that we use, speed and velocity. For speed, think of speeds that you encounter in your everyday life, like the speed of your car or the speed limit in the street where you live. Note that the, uh, note the units for those speeds. For example, 35 miles per hour. So what does that mean? The unit here is miles over hours which means we have a distance that's measured in mile over a time that's measured in hour. That's what a speed is. It is a distance divided by a time. So speeds are found by just dividing the distance traveled by the time it took to travel that distance. And it is just a number, a speed, like 35 miles per hour, a higher number would mean higher speed, a lower number would mean a lower speed. The SI unit for speed is meters per second, since the SI unit for length for distance is meters, and the SI unit for time is seconds. So it's not written here, but the SI unit for speed is meters per second. Now, what's a velocity? A velocity is a speed with a direction. If we add a direction to a speed, then it becomes a velocity. For example, if we just say 25 miles per hour, it is just a speed. But if we say 25 miles per hour east, then that's a velocity, since it includes a speed, the 25 miles per hour, and the direction, which is in this case east. Now, what's the direction for a velocity, one might wonder. The direction of the velocity is simply the direction the object moves. It is always in the forward direction of the motion of the object. If an object is moving east, the direction of the velocity is east. If the object is moving west, the direction of the velocity is west. If the object is moving up, the direction of the velocity is, uh, is up. The forward direction of motion is the direction of the velocity. This, notice here, that's not affected by uh, whether the object is moving at a constant speed or not, whether the object is speeding up, slowing down, the direction of the velocity is simply the forward direction the object is moving.